how to create a weird metallic effect like this in Affinity Photo, as well as how to create the brush strokes that are used here. This is for PC or Mac. You can take any image, and this image was created using brushes, which I will show later how to create. But what you can do with any layer, you can just duplicate it. Go to Layer, and down here to Duplicate. Then go up to Window, and make certain you've got the Layers panel, so you can see the Layers panel there. With this pixel layer here, the one that's exactly the same, you can actually modify it. As long as it's selected, go to Filters, then down here to Blur and Gaussian Blur. Just blur it slightly, something like 6.5. Very, very low, and click Apply. Now you can see you can go back to this one, and it's exactly the same as before. Well, all you need to do is go over to Filters, down to Distort, and Displace. And this can be done with any image, any image. And then go to Load Maps from Layers Beneath. Just click here. And straight away, you can see as you modify the strength, it will create this very metallic looking design. Super quick. And click Apply. And you can apply that to any design. Obviously, if you've got a grayscale image, it's going to look more metallic than any other image. But also, what you can do, say you decide, you know what, I like this, but I want to add some color to it. That's very easy as well. Simply go to Layer, and you can go down here to New Adjustment Layer, and you can go down here and select Recolor. So Recolor, just like that. Maybe go for red, but you can also go for a golden look, simply put it to about orange like that, or modify saturation a bit, reduce it down, change the lightness, and close. And there you've got a very unusual effect. But how to create the actual design in the first place? Well, that's very easy. If you found this video of interest and use, please click like, and also please subscribe to the channel. Always adding new videos all the time about Affinity Photo. The design is created from a very, very basic shape. Simple as that. Go to the Ellipse tool and create an ellipse, a circle. Hold down that. It could be elliptical as well, and it could be, of course, any other shape. You don't have to do it, just circular. Then go over here, select the gradient tool, and apply a gradient. I would suggest something like that. White to black, but mainly go for very little white there, but mainly black to give a great shadow there. Once you've done that, convert it into a pattern layer. You need to pixelize it first, or turn it, rasterize it. So just go here, right click, and rasterize. So rasterize, you now got a design that you can now quickly turn into a pattern layer by going to Layer, and New Pattern Layer from Selection. Select that, you have that. And you can resize it. Now I don't want too small, but something like that. And you can also simply remove that pixel layer. You don't need it anymore, but if you want to, you can always save it to your assets. Okay, once you've done that, now I can use this as a source for brushes. And again, it can be any size. I've gone for that, but just as easy, you could create a very small design like that to create a truly unique brush as well. Well, with this, you need to turn it into a pixel layer. So layer and down here to rasterize again. So rasterize, you can now select from it and just move that out of the way and just go here. And I'm just gonna use this freehand selection tool. Really great. I've set a feather as well. Don't have to, but I like feather about 50 or so and simply draw it. I'm using a mouse so you can see it's a bit uneven. You can create all kinds of different selections, something like that. And it will select, obviously, these obviously circles, but also you've got the transparency as well. Now I'm going to turn it into a brush, go to Window, and down here to Brushes. So Brushes, and with this, I've got a category already. I've created a category. If you want to create a category, it's always best to go up here to the right side menu, and create a new category, Andrew's brushes or whatever, obviously call it something different from inks, etc. Then go over here to the right side menu, click there and down to new brush from selection. You got your brush. 
well, you can tweak this brush. Now let's just select, deselect, and also I don't need that layer anymore. So let's just remove it. So double click, and you can see your design there. And you can tweak it in all kinds of ways. Go to general, change the spacing, create a design like that. Or if you want maybe a bit of a gap between it, you can do that. But also you can tweak it with the size. And also go down here to rotation. So you've got this lovely rotation effect. Also, cyclic, another great option. And literally millions of different designs can be created just by changing the profiles as well as changing the space in here. And you can see you've got a design like that. And now apply it. Simply press B on the keyboard and you've got your brush. That's quite big, so let's just reduce that down a bit. And now you can apply that and you can see sort of designs that you can create there very quickly. But you can also, of course, reduce down, maybe go for something like that. And you can see all kinds of different designs and let's just apply it again, maybe smaller, so you can see the sort of effects you can get. And Oops, just apply it like that. And that sort of design as well. Whole loads of different designs, all from that same brush. Ah, I might push that up a bit higher there. And again, apply it like that. But once you've got that design, you can see it's a grayscale. That's the reason I went for that gradient, black to white. And now, simply, exactly the same as before, You all you need to do is go to layer, and you can duplicate. And you can go over here to layers. Let's just remove that with the layers, make it visible, select this one, filters, blur, and again, Gaussian blur, just apply blur, 6.5, 7. You don't want it totally blurred, but it's, you want it to look much like it was, but blurred, and click apply. Then go back to this one, click this on, and then again, filters, distort, and down here to displace. Exactly the same as before, select that, Click Load Map from Layers Beneath. And now, as you change that, you can see you get this lovely, sort of very weird and wonderful metallic-like effect applied there, and click Apply. And also, you can always go and use filters, colors, auto levels, and so on. Those sorts of things tweak it. Or maybe go to Layer, and again, New Adjustment Layer, and maybe tweak levels. Modify it just slightly to create the effect you exactly want. Maybe go for black levels, etc., and close. If you want to export it, simply go to File, and then down here to Export, and export it out of Affinity Photo. Maybe use it in another application as well. Maybe use it in Publisher, maybe use it in Designer as well, and click Export.